had the ominous price. Welcome back to some more Slime Rancher. We're back in the ranch and we are here in Mochi's Manor, our beautiful new location that we get to use. We have five plots here and we have some things to think about with what we want to do. And I want to spend today kind of figuring out what we're going to do here. So over here, we have two plots that are really close to each other, which to me says do not put two different slimes next to each other or you're gonna have a bad time because they are gonna definitely eat each other's plorts. So I'm thinking we use those for our farms. We use these three for our different um, slimes that we're gonna have here. And so we gotta think like what types of stuff do we want going on now? I think on each of these places, I'm gonna want some kind of theme for the different slimes. Also, we're gonna wanna put down market links or refinery links or both. We're probably gonna wanna put down some teleporters, but it's not a huge deal because we do have the teleporter already. Um, so maybe let's go see if we can't get together the ingredients to make uh, a market link. Do, 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 or a refinery link, one or the other. Who knows? What are you guys doing, by the way? Beep and boop. You are plorts, you are food. Plorts have been removed from there. So now we're gonna have you on plorts. From, oh, I need to turn this up my headphones. I was playing some other game earlier that was super loud. From the Plort Collector's Destination um, Market Link? Sure. So now I think we're pretty much, yeah, we're in that zone now where they are all full. I could also throw it all into the silos again because that wasn't a bad choice. But for now, let's just make some money. Um, so let's see what it's going to take to make another Refinery Link or another um, Market Link. I'm trying to think if I want to use... Because because having multiple locations now is going to allow me to have some places always putting stuff in the market and some places always putting stuff in the refinery so that we will just always be maxed out, which will be really neat. Um, warp Tech. What do we need? Come on. What do we need for you? Uh, royal Jelly, that's right. We're, uh, we're really working on getting some Royal Jelly. How are y'all doing? 50 seconds, so we're going to give that just a moment. Are you on Puddle Plorts or did I just get that already? Target... Plorts, okay. Collectors to the refinery. Okay, cool. How are we doing then on pink plorts that are actually in here? Let me check. 31. Not bad, but not good. That's another thing I should uh, maybe think about is how can I get myself some more pink slimes? Do I maybe want to trade out these beautiful lotus slimes for something else so that we can get some more pink going on? Um, do I want to just throw a bunch more in here? Because, I mean, these guys are definitely well fed enough. Um, I could up the the speed here and get a couple more slimes in there. Maybe we'll do that. Let me go grab a couple more pink slimes just to get us a little bit more going because that is one of our biggest limiting factors right now is just not having enough pink plorts. What we did before, and I mean, maybe, maybe I should do this again. Um, we could clear out this whole overgrowth area and just fill it with pink slimes and treat it as a kind of free range... Um, pink slime factory. I mean, it really does work well for that because there's so much natural food that spawns. Plus, you can um, uh, plant lots of food here as well. So maybe we'll do that again because we're at the point now where it's like, I can get these guys um, taken care of in other places. We could even say that like, you know, we'll move these royal Cheshire's to um, Mochi's Manor. Um, and uh, do we want to keep the Radiant Cheshire's? Do we want to do something else Radiant? Um, we could do all different types of Cheshire's at Mochi's Place. So we could do the Royals, we could do the Radiant, so we could do, I don't know, Heavy Metal Cheshire's or something. I'd have to be a little more creative with how we feed them, but I think we could make it work. So maybe we'll do something like that. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and do... Um, what I had said, let's go get some extra pink uh, slimes. Let's get a couple more into the phosphor pen and um, we'll go from there. We're going to leave stuff as it is for now. Ooh, we got ourselves a lot of tabby plorts up in here. Our dude's not doing his job, which means he's probably out of... Um, dude, he's probably out of water, is what I'm thinking. But he did just take away all of the crystal plorts, so maybe he's just one by one in it. Um, where are you at? Yeah, you need... Some water. There you go. And water. I do wish you could set up the um, the water turrets to keep those watered. I think that'd be a neat little little trick. Uh, okay, let's grab some pink slimes. Oh, that's right. It's nighttime, so we're going to only find phosphorus, huh? Or at least in abundance. 
Do -do 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 -do. Well, let's go ahead and let's grab a bunch of these. Did you already transform? Get out of here, chickadoo. So one thing I was thinking about, um, wanting to figure out, is, you know, how could I, if possible, um, how could I set up a thing where I could actually have meat-eating slimes and have them be successfully, automatically taken care of? Because it's something that I've never really been able to do in this game. And so I think when we unlock Ogden's Ranch, I think I want Ogden's Ranch to be a um, all-meat-eater area, right? So it'll be like maybe Tangle, um, Tangles mixed with stuff, maybe all the different cat combinations, right? Because we could do... Tabby Hunters, or Tiger, <laughs> Tiger Cheshires. I, I always gotta remember the new names. So it could be like Tiger Cheshires. It could be um, Tiger Sabers, or Tiger pre jurassics and pre jurassic um, Sabers. Uh, or pre jurassic Tiger, pre jurassic uh, uh, Cheshires. There's too many. There's just too many different kinds. There's too many different kinds. All right, uh, 19 pink slimes is way too many. I don't know why I grabbed that many. We'll grab like eight. I think eight is already gonna be pushing it with how many we're gonna have in there. But we'll throw them in there. That'll um, give us a little bit more of that going on. I might swap these guys to refine for a little while. Those ones are so pretty. Those uh, radiant um, angels. Okay, let's get you in here. Angels. We, uh, or I saw a trailer the other day. There's are making new Charlie's angels. Those, those are our Charlie's angels. Those are our Prootsie's angels. Anyway, so. Um, let's check our stuff here and let's hope that we got a royal jelly. We're going to, I could also go check the one, there may be one in the, um, what do you call it? So far, no good. Oh man, no royal jellies, huh? You really gotta mess with me. Um, we haven't gone on our treasure hunt and I do know that if we do our treasure hunt, um, we will be able to find some royal um, jellies in some of the uh, places. So maybe we'll do that. We could finish up our treasure hunt. That will definitely get me some um, some royal jellies from a couple of the places. So let me pull up the map. Let's do that because then I can use that. So maybe for next episode, we'll be able to um, to set up Mochi's place. Uh, really well. Um, by the way, uh, I've been reading through y'all's comments today, uh, early this morning. Uh, I've been really enjoying seeing y'all's suggestions for different slime combinations and stuff. Definitely have been taking that into account with what we're going to be doing going forward. And uh, am still working on that list of all the names. And uh, I'll share that with y'all once we get it. So let's go to the Moss Blanket because I'm pretty sure that the Moss Blanket is going to be the best area for us to potentially find royal jellies in. Uh, I'm going to just... Sorry, I'm still looking at this map because I want to make sure that I get it ready to go. Okay, so let's head on over that away. I guess the easiest way would actually be to go through our teleporter. Um, I don't think we have any AP. Oh, we do have one. There's one apiary left down here. Let's see. Are you going to give me a royal jelly? Am I going to be that lucky? Please, 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 and no. Cool. You're a nerd. Um, refinery link. Do, do, do. And there we go. Okay, so before we go too far forward, let's go one step back because there is a level three and there's a level two down here, which I think we've seen it a million times, but I never have gotten around to grabbing it. There's the one under here. It's always here. I mean, they're all always where they are, you know. You know how it is. What you got for me? Okay. There is one royal jelly right off the bat. Perfect. Um, so, do, do, do. Let's grab that and then let's head over to... I believe it's up here. Yes, there we go. What you got? Ooh, the dandy fashion pod. It's a fancy one. Did we ever use that one for anyone? For any of the Gordos? I'm thinking about it right now. Did anyone have the dandy? Who had the dandy? Talia had the glasses. Deirdre had the crown. Mortimer had the mustache. Did anyone? Oh, it was... Was, did Quentin? Did Quentin have the dandy? Maybe he did. I thought maybe he had glasses too, but he could have had the, the dandy. Um, Alright, anyway. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna have to go back and look. I think Quentin did. 
Anyway, doo -doo 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 -doo. that's something else we got to do. We got to bring back the uh, the Council of Gordos, y'all. I need to uh, seed some some traps there. Oh, and there's another royal jelly. Well, you know what? I think we already figured out what we're doing this episode. We're going to finish getting all the treasures here in the moss blanket, and then we will, um, we can work on Mochi's place, no problem. So are there any slimes that I want to make sure to keep my eye out to pick up while I'm out and about? Because what I was thinking originally was let's do all um, cats, but mixed with like fruit eaters so that we can feed them all the same fruit um, or, or vegetables maybe. Um, and uh, they'll still be okay. So we don't have to worry about the meat eating thing. Because then the meat eating thing I can worry about when we get to... Um, What's his faces? Uh, Ogden's. Okay. Is there any up here? I could have sworn. Oh, wait. Hold on. I'm remembering slightly now. It's um, down this way is what I'm thinking about, I think. Because there's the one down there. And then is there another one? That was a fashion pod. There's one. Where's that stair step area? Is it back this way? Well, let's go get this one first anyways, because I'm right here. We... What you got? You better not drop it today, because it's going to be really hard for me to pick up. Ooh, the shady fashion pod. Oh, yeah. Bring him back the band, y'all. We could bring back the band. All right. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. So I think it's over that way. Let's head over there real quick, because there are a couple over this way. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. So I was thinking there's one, like, below this stairwell. Right? Yeah, okay. See, it's funny, like, all I need to do is, like, I look at this map that has, like, all the locations, and I'm like, oh, yeah, I remember exactly where that one is. I know the total place where that is. I just need to be, like, just that little, that little hint, that little push. Uh-oh. We got ourselves some ties. What do you think you're doing? You think you can handle me? No. Get out of here. No. No. Another thing I had thought about maybe doing at, uh, um in Mochi's manner would be to do all kinds of different versions of tangles because it would be kind of cool to um do that and then it would also kind of like the way I'm thinking of it like theming wise is because Mochi's manner has a very Japanese style you could kind of think of it as like a Japanese uh gardens like a rose garden or uh just a Japanese garden in general um which I think could be like a neat theme for us to do um, so maybe we'll do that instead, do all tangles. Um, so then what will I mix it with that will be fun combinations, but also kind of easy to care for, right? So like, um, arcane tangles would be difficult because we would have to feed them chickens, right? But like, um, hey, wow, you got all the way that deep in the water? My goodness. Look at these guys. They're like just like just a bad crew. Like how are you're just like hanging with the Tars. That guy was like, what's up, Tars? I'm your friend now. It's bonkers. Okay, where's this blue one? Leave me alone. Uh, I think it's back this way. Do. Do, 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 do. And then is there something out on like there's like a far off island over there? Or am I just thinking of the uh mustache? I feel like there was an island like that island where like you had to fly out to it to get it. Um, why am I missing this? There's like a blue one like right here. For some reason I'm missing it. Anyway, so um, maybe do tangle combinations at, um, there it is, at Mochi's um, because of the flower garden thing. So I think maybe I'll go with that. I think that could be kind of cool. Um, and then we'll save the tabby stuff for when I'm getting bold and we try and figure out how am I going to make, um, do, 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 uh, Ogden's thing work. The other thought I had when it comes to um, like getting pink plorts was actually let's get um, oh, what you call it. Can I fly out to that one from here? I, I think I remember doing this before. Like there was like a tiny little bit that I could use to get out there, but it might be further over this way. Um, we could use um, Victor's place as our pink slime, um, free range, free roam, you know, area. Have no other plorts there, no other slimes there, except for pink ones. And then we could use that as a nice way and a nice excuse to like, um, 
get ourselves tons of pink quartz because we've been there before we've seen what it looks like the other thing i thought is like we could also treat that as like a place for like there we go for like getting like rock based ones so like um mosaics and metals and things like that there's the smart fashion pod um that kind of thing so you know um i guess all in all what i'm trying to think of is i would like to as we get these new zones really think about how we want to make the most of them and give them like a nice fun theme okay so we've gotten all these ones over here now we need to go to like the deeper parts of uh this area so let's uh let my health come or my health my uh my sprint meter build back up okay Ooh wee y'all so um once again, thank you for the continued support of the series. I uh, really appreciate all y'all, your comments and everything like that. And like, especially for those of y'all who are, you know, um, really excited about the series. You tell me like, oh, you look forward to it every day. I really appreciate it because it does take a lot of work. And so that kind of reassurance really does let me know that, you know, it's worth putting the time and effort into to uh, to make this happen. I don't I think it's been a long time since I've done a daily series that's gone this long. Um, you know, Ori's been going as long, if not longer, but that was something that I recorded over the period of many weeks, you know, a couple months, really, I think. Um, maybe like six weeks. How, how many weeks did it take me to beat Ori? Like four weeks, maybe? Um, and so that one definitely, um, it's, it's daily just because it's already done. This one I'm doing daily, but I'm also trying to give myself time to read your guys' comments and like react and do it. So it's a very, it's a different kind of thing. Plus, I uh, I take Slime Rancher very seriously when it comes to y'all, and I don't mean like so seriously that I'm like ruining the fun for me, but I just mean that like I I care. Dude, the Arcane Cheshires do look really neat. Um, but yeah, like look at those guys. We had them before. Yeah, that's right. We had them previously. Okay, I need y'all to stop it with the with the boom booms. Um, so anyway, I, um, hello, ouch, good, uh, good shot there, nerd. You guys are just gonna keep doing this, huh? I'll launch you to the slime sea if you make me do it again. Um, you're asking for it. Uh, <laughs> so, um, yeah, anyway, I really appreciate all that. By the way, so I'm assuming around the time that this episode is going out that, um, Ori in the Blind Forest is finished and uh, Child of Light will have just started. So if y'all haven't checked out Child of Light yet, I do strongly suggest you go check it out um, if the episode's out. If not, it'll be out probably like tomorrow or sometime soon. Uh, okay, I need to get my energy back. Um, it is definitely something I think that, you know, Slime Rancher or, or just fans of cute games will um, really appreciate. I uh, played through it over the past couple of weeks on Steam, or on Steam, on stream, um, and I was blown away with how much I liked it. I thought it was gonna be a lot like Ori going into it. I thought like, okay, action platform or something or another, but it's much more of like a storybook JRPG, but like the, um, the art style is uh, this beautiful watercolor style, um, and the uh, the characters are great. The entire story, the entire story of the game, all the dialogue, everything rhymes. Like it's it's incredible. It's written almost like it's it's like a kid's story, um, and it really really fits with what the the kind of fairy tale theming of the game is. Um, and of course, for me, it gave me an excuse to do all of my voices. Y'all know I love to do all my voice acting to really stretch them uh, voice and skills. And so I really got uh, had a lot of fun playing that one, just being able to do all the characters' voices whenever they had all the dialogue. So. Um, Please do check that out if you haven't already. If you're maybe thinking about uh, giving it a shot, please do. Um, you know, obviously, if you don't like it after the first couple episodes, then like whatever, each their own. But at least give it a shot. You know, don't ignore it because you're like, oh, it looks like another um, platform or something. Hey, lucky guy! Oh, got any? Uh, nope, he's gone. Never have anything for them when I need it. Um, okay. So all that said, let's think about what am I gonna want to. Actually, is there one down here? That's right. I was like, wait a minute. Um, so yeah, so that'll be going on. And I am thinking of adding a third series that I'll be having going on. This one, I don't know if it'll be a daily thing. It'll probably be like every other day or something like that. Um, 
I, I haven't recorded it yet, so no promises on when it's going to happen. Um, but I am thinking of starting back up and finishing the um, Cube Escape series. For those of y'all who have been watching my channel for a while, you know that I completed um, the uh, Rusty Lake games. And uh, the Rusty Lake games were actually part of a series called the Cube Escape series. So uh, I'm going to go and um, record playing those. They're all available on their website, I think, for free. Um, and uh, I'll just play through all those and uh, add that to the playlist so we've done all of Cube Escape and Rusty Lake. So do um, keep an eye out for that. All right, 20 of 20 out of the Moss Blanket. Perfect. And uh, so that one's clear. Uh, this one's clear. So then we still got to do Indigo Quarry, I think. And uh, then we'll go into here. But for now, let's head home and let's think about what slimes do I want to gather up so that we can um, fill out mochis. Because uh, now I've got enough. I've got royal jelly so we can make a refinery link and a um, market link, I think. Because didn't we get two royal jellies? But we're going to use it actually as an excuse to make um, just one. And then we'll hold on to the others for the... Oh, look at that. Another royal jelly. Nice. These guys are still going. Woo-wee, baby. Nice, nice, nice. I really got to uh, do this more often. These machines. Did I put down pumps, too? I can't remember if I put down pumps. I know I had talked about doing it, but I don't know if I did it. Um, all right, well, let's get these in here regardless. Now we're solid for making all this stuff that we want. Um, do, 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 And utilities, warp tech, let us make a market link. Boop. And we will make a second refinery link just because I'm probably, there's going to be a couple spots where I'm going to want to do this. And uh, you know what? We'll go ahead and make another market link as well because there are a couple spots where I know I'm going to want to use those um, already. Like I need to put one in uh, over at the docks so we can finally be taking care of those things properly. These guys are definitely getting us some more stuff going. Let's, uh, let's up the speed on their feeding. That's something that I forgot to do. So I'm going to throw a couple of these in there for them. Let's just go ahead and grab a handful of these. Throw those in there as well. Just to make sure they're fed. So these guys I'll want to check on every now and then, but having twice as many of them now should um, greatly help us to deal with that. As long as these guys can also still be fed while they're being fed, I think we'll be good. They have 100, so they're fine. I think we'll be all right. I think we'll be all right. So, yeah, let's head on to... Okay, okay. So I said I want to do tangles. So we could go to the glass desert and just grab a bunch of tangles and then add some plorts to mix them together. Might not be a bad idea. Oh, but I don't have a teleporter to the glass desert yet, but that would be a great thing for our gray teleporter here is to go to the glass desert and do that so we're going to do that um in one of the next upcoming episodes maybe when we go try and do our treasure hunt in the glass desert we'll um do this as well that could be good um we also have our mosaic pinks here i just haven't been gathering the pink plorts from them um, to take into the uh refinery so that's another thing i should consider let's go ahead and grab all these real quick and just throw them in a refinery link um and you know what? We're going to take our extra refinery link and we're going to quickly say, you know what? We don't need money for a while. Let's take Mr. Plorts and we're going to say from the Plort Collector to the refinery link. Boop, ba -doop, boop. So now all these guys should be getting collected and sent to the refinery link instead. And then that'll help us as well with um, kind of stocking up on some of these other plorts that we haven't really been doing too much with. Okay, so... You know what? Let's go ahead and go to Ogden's retreat. I was gonna go. I was gonna go to the glass desert, but I was like, no, we don't have enough time to do that in this episode. We're gonna do a run at Ogden's. We're gonna slowly work towards getting the uh, next garden upgrade. Obviously, we're only gonna get another fifty into here, but um, it's still still helpful. So let's get going at this, y'all. Ooh, and this will be good fodder for uh, feeding these guys. Look at all these heavy metal sabers, man. Oops, I had meant to get like a rad screenshot from the sky there, but instead like, Rah! so angies. Okay, let's get all this stuff. Okay, ooh. But, uh, but yeah, I, I think that at least over the next couple of episodes, my goal is gonna be to like, let's get Mochi's place up and running because I'd love to have more automation there. By the way, I had a comment um, in one of the recent episodes where someone said, when are you gonna start making your ranch automatic? To which I will now say, it's already automatic. <laughs> it really is. I mean, other than me having to water our drones, they're doing like everything. Um, super nice. I love it. You know, there's only so much you can do. You still have to water your drones, but that's way more. Ooh, I like that guy. You and 
you? Look at that smile. It's so cute the way that they look when they uh, when they eat. Ouch. Are you hungries? Look at y'all. I love you guys. You're so cute. All right, stop eating me. All right, there's going to be some Tars here in a couple seconds, though, because I just made some plorts pop up, so that'll be fun. Get up here. Can we get, can we get up? Can we get up? Nope. Dang. Come on. Come on. Ugh. It's frustrating when that happens. All right, if you're going to turn into Tars, could you please go ahead and do it now? I really um, would appreciate that. Okay, so let's try that again. We're going to stand on this, rest, and then go. Now we're good. Okay, so far, no cuckoo balls, which is always a little frustrating because that's the way you get like a lot of these, but that's fine. Um, do, 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 do. And I'm glad that we were able to finish with Mochi's stuff. That uh, definitely gets one more thing off our plate to have to worry about. I think we're getting close to finishing um, Victor's, right? I think we're on the last part because we did unlock the advanced drones, which obviously we want to get more advanced drones if we can um but you know as i said we're kind of focused on let's get this other stuff going you know we got priorities we got time as well and um one thing you know i haven't spent a lot of time in the glass desert and part of that is me not wanting to um get too focused on glass desert stuff because i feel like i've done that a lot in the past and then i start focusing on the science there and i start focusing on all that stuff um and uh everything else falls behind. Like, right now, what I need is um, more like mid-level stuff. More like mid-tier stuff. We, we don't want to get ahead of ourselves. What do we got over here? Do, do, do. Gosh, I do love Ogden's Wilds. And the music, too. I, I, I guess I should say this, too. Like, realistically, like, all of the music in this game is incredible. All of the artwork in this game is incredible. I'm forever impressed every time I play this game with how good it is. I was talking to um, Chrissy the other day, and uh, she was like, do you even still like playing that game? Because, you know, I've, I've got, I don't know, 200 hours logged in Slime Rancher, which I know some of y'all probably have even more. Um, but, uh, you know, and most of that is recorded. You know, I've probably done, what, six, seven series on Slime Rancher, probably three or four of them, like all the way to the end. Um, uh, many of them to the end of whatever the content was at the time when it came out. and. Um, yeah, my response was like, yeah, I still love this game. Like, every time I play it, I enjoy the heck out of it. It's just like there's so much good in this game that, like, yeah, it never gets old. I mean, I think that when you play an individual file, you do eventually reach a point where you're like, all right, I'm done. I've unlocked everything. But for me, it's like, okay, start over. Do it again. The other wonderful thing is they keep on uh, updating it, right? They keep on adding more content. They keep on changing things up. The Secret Style Pack was great. The Victor Humphreys, uh, you know, the um, Slimulation stuff, fantastic. So, like, that's the other part is that with them continuing to make big, significant updates to this game, um, it gives me that excuse, that one little extra thing that makes it all worth it. Get out of here, y'all. I need this stuff. Thank you. Um, so yeah, so I do. I do still like it. Uh, and uh, I think a lot of y'all do too. I hope that um, y'all are having fun with your current files. Again, I would love to hear about what your experiences are like. Any cool things that you've seen? Saw so somebody said that they saw a glitch gold slime. They have definitely seen one or two of those. Definitely a, uh, a unique occurrence when those guys pop up. It's always fun when you see like the um the gold slimes and the lucky slimes because they're so rare right and then to uh be able to see a glitched version of that is always a lot of fun um and of course the glitched versions when you pop them they give a a nice big bonus of uh glitches bouncing everywhere so it's also really helpful to you you know uh, y'all should just eat thank you okay we're at 43 again a number that i would be okay leaving here with but you know we can probably find a couple more before we bounce out do, 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 do. And we're, we're reaching near the 30 minute mark. I was looking at my last three episodes after I recorded. Um, and like one of them, I think, was almost 45 minutes. Um, getting a little long in the tooth there, Price. Getting a little long in the tooth. What can I say? I enjoy my slimes. All right, you know what? We're going to stick with 44. I'm cool with that. We'll uh, make a little bit of progress towards getting the improved farms. Having the improved gardens will help a lot with us um, being able to manage larger numbers of slimes because of the um, 
the ability for them to... Do I need any more of these? Nah, we're fine. Um, what are these guys? So, uh, for the ability for them to... Um, What, I, what was I saying? What was I saying? I lost my train of thought. I lost my train of thought there, guys. Completely lost it. Um, I was talking about. What was it? Was it? I don't even know. I've totally. I, that was a. That was a super brain fart. Like ultimate brain fart. I can't even remember what I was talking about. I was talking about tofu. I was talking about getting oh the gardens, getting enough food in order to feed all the slimes as we get larger numbers of slimes and as we start to expand and we're having you know say like two corrals but three um, slimes, right? Or like two two gardens but three corrals. Um, so that definitely is a thing as well. Oh, looks like once again they've switched over to giving these guys a diet of carrots. That's what I'm thinking. Always bugs me when that happens, but I get it. It's because the odd onions don't grow fast enough and numerous enough for these guys to uh, be able to dine entirely on those. But I'll throw these in here for now. Uh, do, 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 do. They're good. Okay. So, one thing I just thought about, and I think we're going to do this for right now because I realize this is like the ultimate way to do this. We're going to pick this guy up. And we're going to swap this one for an advanced... Our advanced drone, our Super B, okay? Now, what's the Super B going to do? Why am I using the Super B? Because we're going to say target one, pink plorts, source, plort collectors, take that to the refinery link. Target two, plorts from plort collectors to plort market. If it does this the way I think it will, it'll prioritize putting pink plorts into the refinery link and everything else it'll sell. This will help me to be able to... Um, Get a lot of pink plorts for our science stuff, which we know we need. But then beyond all that, we're uh, he should go around and take every other type of plort and sell it. So we'll still keep making money. Now, what is the next 7Z upgrade going to cost us? 47500 So we'll wait on that because I do want to spend this money to um, get mochi's manor up and running so i think next episode we're going to go to the glass desert i am going to maybe along the way we'll do the um quanta or the uh, the ruins um hunting for all of the treasure pods there we'll hunt for the treasure pods in the glass desert and we will set up our teleportation so that we can go from this gray teleporter out to the glass desert some some central location i'm not exactly sure i want where i want to put that teleporter either at the yeah i mean maybe at the entrance maybe at that very opening area that's not a bad zone to have like your sciency bits if you're going to do sciency stuff so um we'll consider that and um then we will grab a bunch of tangles and we'll head out to mochi's and we'll start to think about what combinations we want to do for that but for now y'all i'm gonna go ahead and say thank you all so much for watching if you liked what you saw please of course be sure to give the video a like be sure to comment down below be sure to subscribe if you're not already but most importantly y'all most most importantly, have a wonderful day. My name has been Price, and I will see y'all next time. Y'all are too dang cute.